say, my client already has Google Analytics for WordPress by Monster Insights uh -oh. and Google Tag Manager plugins installed. Can I remove these two plugins and add my add Google Site Kit? Just want to make sure it will not cause a problem. When both are activated, it gives a conflict error. Also, I ran the checker you recommended to see if it comes on all pages. It looks like the home page is the only one with code. Ah, wow. Okay. So first of all, I want to commend you for being so thorough to check all this. That is great. That you've already uncovered that the analytics comes only on the home page is huge. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yes, these are conflicting. Be uh, uh, these the Monster Insights plugin is a great plugin. I use it for years, but it does the same thing as SiteKit. Mm -hmm. And the Tag Manager plugin, there was a Duracell Tony, I think was his name, had a really great plugin. Used it for years, but SiteKit replaced. It does the same thing. So, I frankly would recommend removing those and moving SiteKit on. Okay. Because there are certain advantages to having site kit, but you don't want both because it will double cat. But I would ch I would check to make sure. He here, I, I guess here's what I would do. I would, you know how we always say, use site kit to serve tag manager, and don't use site kit to serve analytics. I would like to do a test first, however. Okay. <clears throat> I would go ahead and use SiteKit to serve analytics before you even use SiteKit to serve Tag Manager and test to make sure analytics is on every page of the site with SiteKit because there could be a fundamental way the theme was coded incorrectly, not mm -hmm. allowing the header codes to be inserted onto sub pages of the site and if that is what you determine when you do the site kit plugin, then there needs to be some coding fixes to interior templates to even allow any plugin, whether site kit, maybe even Yoast or whatever, to even be affected on those interior template pages. Um, I have a question when you were talking about that. Okay, <laughs> I want to make sure that Lavanya is following first. Okay. Okay, so you're saying um, I disabled Google, uh, the Monster Insight. I left Tag Manager active. So you're saying I can remove the Monster Insight and put Google Site Kit on there. And remove the Tag Manager, Tag Manager. as well. Okay, remove that too. Okay. Yeah. And because the Site Kit will replace two plugins. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and normally, so you'll also need Tag Manager access because you'll want to grant SiteKit access to your Tag Manager. But I am worried that even SiteKit won't be able to add the Google Analytics code to any pages outside the home page because of the way the template was built in WordPress. Had, had, um... mm -hmm. so, so once you do SiteKit, test it again. Mm -hmm. And then if you find out that the code is not on interior pages, then there's something wrong with the template, the, the theme. Okay. And that's something that's normal. I'm, I'm not, I hadn't really thought about that, that it, it was a theme. Yeah. So with a word, and Tim would know the, the nomenclature better than me, but there's a hierarchy of files mm -hmm. in WordPress. And ideally, every template calls the header and the footer. And if it doesn't, then things like Monster Insights can't insert Google Analytics in the header. Uh, okay. can't change the header. Okay. Got and it. if that is a problem with Monster Insights, it might be a problem with it, SiteKit. Um, okay. Okay. Then again, it might have been a problem with something else. Yeah. But in other words, just because you're using SiteKit, I'd still test. Yeah. And if, if that SiteKit 
if it's not on, if the analytics isn't on every page of the site at that point, there is a theme problem. Okay. Does that help get you started, Lavanya? Yes. Okay.